Dear friends of IVP, I'm very pleased to welcome you for this new one-hour webinar dedicated to port city governments. So few times for so big issue. As you certainly know, because all of you here know of course the IVP Agenda 2030, a better governance for sustainable project in port city is one of the engagement, the number four, of IVP Agenda. Is the key to success and this includes, of course, a better dialogue with the citizens. It's the reason why we impose Port Centre's initiative in each port city, for instance. I'm very pleased to welcome for this webinar three high qualified speakers, AVP Active members or partners, to share with you their experience regarding governance. Thanks a lot for your active participation. Professor Michael Dooms, well-known in IVP world, will manage with his habitual dynamism this seminar. Thanks a lot, dear Michael, for your active collaboration too. I wish you a very fruitful seminar with us. All right, uh, thanks a lot, uh, Olivier, for this uh, nice introduction. Uh, my name is Michael Dooms. I'm a professor at the University of Brussels and a large amount of my uh, research uh, has been uh, revolving around, you know, the topic of stakeholder management uh, in ports. And, um, you know, port governance is a very salient topic, especially when it comes to managing, I think, the local stakeholders, the local communities. Uh, they have become more vocal, more engaged. Uh, they have access to more information. And, you know, this creates challenges, uh, especially if you want to expand the port, develop the port, uh, also in the context of, you know, the economic and sustainable transition uh, taking place with new activities also needing to develop in ports. And, you know, if you want to develop as a port, you will need these permits already to construct your infrastructure, to develop your area. And there, you know, we see, unfortunately, that a lot of conflict uh, still exists um, between stakeholders, you know, on, on the local level, on, on the regional level, in terms of, you know, where the port uh, needs to be uh, headed. And uh, what we have seen is that, um, you know, the last 10 to 15 years, actually, ports have started to engage stakeholders a lot uh, in, in master plans, in visioning exercises, uh, in projects. But we still see that the conflicts are latently present, sometimes even end up in the courtroom. So <clears throat> the question here is, you know, do we need to shift gear a bit? Uh, what are the tools of governance that you would need as a port managing body, as a city, to actually gain more consistent, more structural uh, support from your local community? So you look at uh, sustainability reporting, you look at you know the measurement of the social license to operate, and we actually see out of our research, we've done some projects with the Green Marine, we've done some projects with World Port Sustainability Program, and you see that not a lot of ports are actually already doing a sustainability report together with their stakeholders, let alone that they have data related to the strength of the uh, license to operate. And uh, this opens up for a kind of debate on, you know, what's the next frontier, I would say, in uh, working together with stakeholders, setting up the appropriate, you know, governance systems at the port level, at the city level, together to actually have, you know, better local support to actually have less conflicts and making sure that ports are actually able to uh, tackle these challenges related to the uh, the economic and the energy and the sustainable uh, transition as they are supposed to play a very big role in that and they are playing already a very big role uh, in that. So this being said, um, we have a panel indeed of uh, three very interesting uh, speakers. Um, our first speaker will be uh, Claire Charby. Uh, she is at the OECD, uh, the Center of Entrepreneurship, SMEs, Regions and Cities. She's heading the Territorial Dialogues and Migration Unit there. She literally breeds institutions, uh, as from her CV. She has a PhD in economics, uh, in institutional economics. So she's been uh, researching this topic of territorial governance, local uh, integration, um, regional strategies towards sustainability is all within her uh, remit. So that will offer a very general perspective. We have, um, and now we're moving west. Eh? Claire is in, in uh, Paris. We're moving westwards across the channel um, to London, where we have Alistair uh, Gale, who is the director of uh, corporate affairs at the Port of London Authority. 
Uh, he's been doing that for a long time, 15 years already, uh, looking at, you know, stakeholder engagement, being responsible for stakeholder engagement from the PLA perspective. Also, more recently, uh, has been working on the uh, Thames River Vision, uh, which is uh, a vast project. We're obviously a very, a very dynamic uh, region, London, very big city, large footprint. So that's a very interesting example. Interesting also is that Alistair has a, has a past in the cement industry, uh, where he was also uh, responsible for the part relating to ensuring the license to operate of various locations of uh, cement production and concrete production in the, uh, in the area. Last but not least, we cross the ocean. Uh, we go to Canada, to Port of St. John, where we have uh, Paula Copeland. She's a director of communications and uh, CSR, corporate social responsibility at Port St. John. Also there, she's been at the port for a very long time. Uh, this is also, I think, a very, I mean, interesting feature of our speakers. They have been involved for a long time, so they, they can also tell you about, you know, how their practices have um, changed uh, and have uh, evolved uh, around the years. So there she's more recently uh, involved in, uh, you know, how to embed, you know, the CSR procedures, the practices uh, better in the in the culture of the port. So she has a very good idea also on, you know, what it takes to get societal support uh, from the port uh, perspective. 